Hi, my name's Ali. I'm the exotic supervisor here at Corumban Wildlife Sanctuary, and today is World Lemur Day. Now, this is really significant because lemurs are becoming the most endangered animals in the world. So, more endangered than any other group of birds, mammals, or reptiles. There are about 110 different species and subspecies of lemurs, and out of those, 105 of them are actually vulnerable, endangered, or critically endangered. 38 of them are actually critically endangered. So that's why World Lemur Day is really important to raise awareness of these really awesome creatures and basically to show that their numbers are decreasing at a very alarming rate. All across the world there are many animals that are becoming extinct, um, but there are none that are actually decreasing as fast as what lemurs are. So here at the sanctuary we are home to four ring-tailed lemurs. This here is Andro, he's having a lovely little snack at the moment. Uh, he's here with his brother Vintana, as well as Sunny and Kata who are another pair of brothers. Now here you're really lucky, you get to come up nice and close to these guys. You are walking into their enclosure and uh, where they share a beautiful environment with uh, about a hundred different birds as well. And uh, you get to see them perform some really uh, natural behaviours, whether it's climbing up in the trees, walking around, foraging for food on the ground, or just sitting there and having a sunbake. Sunbaking is one of Lima's favourite pastimes. They'll sit in the sun, hold their arms out, looking like they're worshipping the sun and absorbing all those lovely warm rays. Now lemurs are actually part of a group of animals called primates. Now primates include monkeys, lemurs and apes as well. So they're actually in the same family as us. And if you have a close look at them, you can see some similarities. Uh, usually in their hands is where you'll find with lemurs that are most similar to what um, we are. They've got four fingers and a thumb just like us. They've even got fingernails and individual fingerprints too. So uh, you can see the lots of similarities there. What they do have that we lack of course is a beautiful long tail. So ring-tailed lemurs are the most distinctive of all the lemur species because they do have that lovely ring tail. You see them a lot in documentaries and movies as well. They also spend more time on the ground than what other lemurs do. Most other lemurs are in the trees more often, but ring-tailed lemurs feel very at home on the ground too, where they hold their tail up in the air and it works kind of like a flag so everybody can keep a track of each other. But that doesn't mean that they aren't good climbers, they are excellent at climbing and they can go right to the tops of the trees and jump up to about 7 metres from tree to tree. They're really excellent at doing that. And you'll actually get to see that if you come in and visit them here at the sanctuary because they've got some beautiful big trees in which they can climb and jump around in. So please do come down, learn a little bit more about these animals. Like I said, they are declining their numbers uh, at an alarming rate and now some of the most endangered animals in the world. Uh, and, but they are one of the most unique and definitely one of my favourites. 